Hello everyone. The topic that I'm going to present is uh, the language socialization experiences of Latina mothers in Southern California. There is a stereotype in the United States about Latino immigrants, and that is that they are perceived as people who don't make an effort to learn English and settle for low paying jobs and were very frequently continue to be discriminated. However, learning skills are not just a matter of taking classes and apply them in their life. It also has to do with your experience with English speakers. This study focuses on Latina mothers from Southeastern California. Their communicative competence must do initially with the socialization of their countries of origin and how naturally they didn't speak English well when they migrated to the United States, which led them to have a series of communication difficulties in shops, workplaces, at school, etc. This influences the socialization of parents with their children, especially the moral order of language, which is understood as the values that immigrant mothers believe they should associate with values in Spanish, English, and in a bilingual way. And that includes a fair appreciation of their linguistic competence, the notions of morality of these Latina mothers, are based on how they perceive daily life individually and collectively. 76 stories from 23 Latina mothers and their children were taken into account and how they transmit the moral lessons learned from their experience to end the stereotype that Latino parents don't make an effort to learn English and be part of the active education of their children. These stories of this, uh, the stories of these Latina mothers trying to learn English involve many emotions, such as frustrations or sadness. All these related to moral positions on the use of language at home, lack of English, language discrimination, use of English and Spanish in certain scopes. And the study used 56 hours of recording that were transcribed on the 76 stories of Mexican and Central American mothers and the interviewers analysis of the moral points of view in the evaluation of these stories. Such moral constructs are valuable because their understanding, understanding of the moral uh, perspective in bilingual form in Spanish and English could help an effective way to teach, to teach it uh, to their children. We have some recurring themes in, in the stories. The first one is Spanish maintenance and language at home with uh, 32%. Spanish as the sine qua non of the Mexican or Central American identities in which it is understood that it must be fulfilled in an essential way as a sign of identity with um, 18, 18%. Value of bilingualism and home literacy activities in Spanish and English, 17%. Language ridicule of Spanish speaking children at school, 9%. Language mixing, 7%. Language used as la clase magica, 7%. Children as language helpers, 5%. And language respect at church, 5%. All this reflects moral evaluation, evaluations such as values and beliefs 
And these evaluations position mothers as an actor of, of how the socialization practices of group language are constituted. So in this analysis, three main places of socialization were taken into account, home, school, and church. The moral evaluation are based on the experiences of these mothers for not feeling capable, capable of understanding English and not being able to support their children in the school, of wanting to learn English quickly to solve their financial problems. However, they are in a vicious circle in which in order to learn English, they need to socialize with English speakers, but they can't have that socialization because they don't speak English. These Latina mothers constantly feel guilt for not understanding English and justify that they don't have rights in the United States. And that doesn't matter but their children are citizens and they do deserve those rights. They understanding that not speaking, that not speaking English well is something frowned upon socially. Children realize how their mothers do not understand the social power that the use of good English has. So, on the one hand, children don't feel comfortable speaking Spanish in front of their peers, but their mothers consider, consider it important to maintain Spanish and that they speak both languages, especially that they keep their mother tongue because it is the only way they socialize with their children. Latino mothers also recognize that their problem with English is not only linguistic, but ideological, because all of the anti-immigrant and anti-Latino burden that has dragged on for a long time. And it caught my attention one of the stories in uh, which a woman uh, went to a religious celebration thinking uh, that it would be in Spanish and then went to complain to, uh, to the priest. And the priest uh, replied that if the celebration had been in Mexico, no one is going to give it to him in English because uh, it's a, a different or another country. And for her, it was a lack of respect and a show of discrimination towards a large percentage of believers who don't understand English well. Latina mothers continue to overcome language barriers and resist to build a moral order to pass on to their children. They fight for the dignity of the efforts of those who don't speak English and respect for those who only speak Spanish or are not fluent when speaking English. Teachers must be aware of the moral and social conflicts that Latina mothers and their children face when trying to communicate on a daily basis and create a better school environment by taking into account the variations and cultural importance of a language. Anti-bilingualism law has already been passed in California, but students must still be encouraged with dignified spaces where students can use English, Spanish, and code switching to achieve a better performance in English as well as to have a more open attitude to Latino parents and collectively seek better training for students.
And that's it. Thank you very much.